you very much. It's probably a good time to go over my my experience with Metroid. Um, I played Super Metroid as a kid, and I, I never beat it just because, like, my attention span as a kid was like, Mario, Donkey Kong! And, like, as soon as I got to a game that, like, I kind of wasn't in, like, Link to the Past. I got to a certain point Link to the Past, and I was just like, I got stuck. And I was like, fuck this, done, walk away, go back to Mario, go back to Donkey Kong. Uh, I only really beat Super Metroid at when I was a little bit older, like probably like uh, in my early 20s or something like that. I was like, yeah, let me go beat Super Metroid. But uh, I played Metroid 1. I beat Metroid 1 on stream. That was fucking painful. Metroid 1 is awful. Uh, I beat, I've beaten Super Metroid on stream. I love Super Metroid. It's a fantastic game. I love Super Metroid. I like Metroid Fusion a lot. Actually, you know, Metroid Fusion might actually have been the first Metroid game I ever beat. Uh, I had that on my Game Boy Advance. And I played Metroid Prime 1. Uh, I played Metroid Prime 1 on the Wii U with the motion controls. Oh, God, I hate the Wii, the Wii mote and shit. I've never played it with like a GameCube controller. So uh, I'm not the biggest Metroid fan overall. I like Metroid. I'm not like a massive Metroid fan. So, all right, let's play and let's get started. Uh, Drusilla, thank you for the tier three, nine months. Thank you very much. Have I tried Metroid Zero Mission? No, I've never played it. I've seen Oats play it a few times, but uh, yeah, I've never played it myself. Let's do it. This game is long overdue. I have absolutely no idea what the story is in this game. A virulent floating organism that drained energy from its prey through physical contact. Metroids strike. were originally created by the Chozo, named after the word for ultimate warrior. Their value as a bioweapon sparked several crises, and as a result, all traces of them have been eliminated. They are now extinct. Boom, 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 boom. Ugh. This is like recapping the entire series. X Parasite. Uh, maybe we should do this. A gelatinous, parasitic organism. No, that's too much. Uh, in indigenous to the planet SR388. So that was Metroid Fusion, right? Uh, it could absorb the DNA of its host, living or dead, and replicate its form. When infecting a living host, it can even access the host memories. X Parasite were driven not by emotion, but by an instinctive need to replicate and spread to increase to increasingly stronger hosts. Their inability to be controlled marked them as even more dangerous than their sole predator, the Metroids. Like the Metroids, they are believed extinct. Okay. I made them extinct. <laughs> yeah, that was me. So this is recapping the events of Metroid Fusion, I guess. I wonder if they'd redo, I wonder if they would ever redo like Metroid Fusion or Super Metroid with like this graphic style. With no Metroid surviving on SR388, became infested with the X, horrifying parasites capable of imitating any living being. Unaware of this, I set foot on the planet, got infected, and almost died. That's when I took some ivermectin and get the horse dewormer that Dr. Fauci doesn't tell you about. I'm much better now. <laughs> A fusion remake don't make me horny this early. The one that saved me was vaccine created from Metroid DNA. Made from real horse dewormer. Also left me uniquely able to oppose the X. This ability was tested immediately when I went to a biological space station laboratory's research station to investigate a distress signal. There I battled many powerful X forms, including the SAX, which was the X mimicking me in my power suit at full strength. I eventually eliminated the X menace on SR388 by setting the BSL research station on a collision course with the planet. Sam is just out here destroying planets and shit. After that, the X and Metroids were just memories, or so we thought. Just when it all seemed over, the Galactic Federation received a mysterious video transmission. Hmm? Nice haircut, thank you. It showed an X, alive and in the wild. Thorough analysis proved the video was real. Though the sender was unknown, the transmission was traced to a particular planet. Okay. Spaceball 1. 
It was called ZDR. If this X had somehow escaped the extinction out there, they would pose a threat to the entire galaxy. The Galactic Federation dispatched a research team of seven at EMMI to investigate. Okay. Remember when Samus was a simple bounty hunter trying to make her way in the universe? Oh my god, am I- what a- god! How- how long is this reading? And the EMMI is a large research robot designed to cap- uh, capture field samples and extract their DNA. An incredible mobility and protective plating made of the strongest stuff in the universe practically guaranteed the mission's success. But not long after their arrival on ZDR, all communication was lost. Do Metroid games usually start with a novella? Yeah, Metroid 1 begins, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. What is happening on ZDR? Is the planet really infested with X? The only one immune to the parasites is up for me to go and find out. Jesus, God, it's novel. Well, to be fair to the game, there hasn't been a Metroid game in like, a, like 47 years, so nobody fucking knows what's going on in this game. <laughs> it was the blurst of times, you idiot! <laughs> what was the last Metroid game? So I guess this follows after Fusion. Are all Metroid Prime 1, 2, and 3, are those all prequels of some kind? Is that what those are? You'll soon be entering ZDR. No, it wasn't that long. I, I understand why, because I feel like a ton of people have no idea what the story is at this point. So they're trying to, like, get you up to speed, you know? Mission does not seem appropriate. Okay, is that my ship talking? Was the Samus like an intergalactic fugitive after fusion since she destroyed the BRS? Didn't they not? Didn't they not want her to destroy the, the station because they wanted to use it for like weapons research? Ah, uh, so that's uh, that's Adam, right? Calling me lady. Uh, Kai, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, Kai. I remember that. Yeah, it's Adam. So is Adam, is Adam my ship or something? The hell is that wall of text freaking, sir? I don't think we needed that. Been fighting an illness for years now, but watching your streams and content makes it a little better. Keep up the good work and love you, Barb. Oh, I mean, fuck you, Barb. So are we about to get Metroided here? Or do we already get Metroided? That elevator leads to the depths of an underground facility. Signal quality is not really low. Remote communication remains in trouble. Try to connect to the facility's network when you reach the bottom. That way, they can be in contact. Okay. Don't you play as Metroid? Yeah, this Metroid chick, she is hot as hell. Uh, Burgo King, thank you for the $10. Thank you very much. Yeah, Adam was the AI, but like it was named, isn't it the, her friend was like sucked up into the computer or some shit? I don't remember. I'm a little, I'm a little fuzzy on the story of Metroid. A little fuzzy. <laughs> Picking up Jinjo today. Whoa. Yeah, streamer, I highly recommend that your alerts should potentially ruin every fucking game you ever play. I, I highly recommend that as a streamer. <laughs> Make sure they just ruin just about every moment they possibly can. Okay. So now that's the, now we got Metroided, huh? You're welcome. 
We got the Iron Man blaster there. The bird thing is Gilbert Gottfried. I missed the papers, please. One's a lot. I have those still. I could go easily bring those back. Are we playing? We're playing. Whee! Okay, so the right stick seemingly does nothing, but... Uh, how do you... Okay, so if you want to crouch... Okay, you can't really crouch and shoot up. Okay, gotcha. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, so this door is locked. All right. Ooh, what is this? Like a melee attack? Cool, cool. Dublin Bounder, thanks to Gift Sub. Thank you very much. All right, neat. Oh, so that's like, okay, that's missiles. Got you, got you, got you. All right. Let's see. Ooh. Cool. While tilting L to run, press Z to slide. Ooh, we got the Mega Man slide. Okay. I feel like it's a little, like, awkward. Oh, I think we just shoot it. I'm just trying to hold straight up. Straight up. Straight up. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> aiming, aiming in this game is kind of weird. A little weird. Uh -huh. Oh, God. Okay, so we also got wall jumps. All right, interesting. Let's take your dick in that. Hmm, okay, so uh, there, I don't know if that's like morph ball. Hold R to ready missiles and press Y to fire. Okay. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. Some destructible blocks are hidden. If you run a dead end, try shooting at your surroundings. Striking some blocks with missiles may reveal how to destroy them. Aha. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> so, uh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Got you. Huh. I have to try to remember what these symbols mean. You turn into a ball. Uh, I think usually in Metroid, you like press down twice to turn into a morph ball, right? Uh, no, I, I think you can't. Maybe you have to pick up a power up or something. Reminds you of Shadow Complex. Uploading data. There's a future American simulator where you need to use guns to open doors. That's how I open doors. So you've accessed the network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Okay. Caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. Wow! You just knew. You just knew you were gonna get Metroided at some point. <laughs> Call it physical amnesia. <laughs> your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video lock. It appears to have been a Chozo. The attacker's identity is... So that was a Chozo, data. huh? I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This planet appears to consist of multiple mm -hmm. areas. Shuttles, Getting Metroided and Metroid. Unbelievable. And of transport connect. The ship's location is marked on your global map. You may encounter pockets of low temperature. Uh -huh. Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not add one final thing. Okay. Underground interference is preventing radio transmission. Got you, whatever. Uh, save your progress. Sure, man. Go ahead. I'm convinced I'm ignoring it on purpose. What am I? Metro. Uh, me, shut up. I, c I just called you Metroid. <laughs> shut up, Metroid. Oh, look. Oh, so that's how we open this up. All right. So let's start to move around. Shut up, Metroid. I'm Metroid. We got a power. Power. Okay. So these doors all open. Uh, okay. Shut up, Meg. I said that the game. Uh, oh, can I? No, I can't do that. Okay. The game feels good.
Uh, use a melee at the right at the right moment to parry certain attacks and automatically take aim at the attacker. Press X to use your melee counter now. Oh, there's like a melee counter. Interesting. Okay. Cool. Ow. I think you're supposed to counter that too. Ow. You know, I, I really think they want you to counter these. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I can make that jump, actually. Okay, okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. I'll figure it out. It'll take me a little bit of time to get used to. Ow. Ah, that's pretty cool. I like the uh, melee counter. I like that. Neat. Uh, let's see. We need like some. I don't know if we need like screw attack or something to be able to reach there. What do you want? Oh, if an area is blinking, that indicates that there is a hidden item is there. Okay, so that means like you haven't found all of the items in that area. Got you. Uh, what was Wait a minute. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, that's what you do. Ooh, missile tank. Hey, we found a missile pack, guys. Cool. This is cool, man. Metroid is a game like I feel like there should be new Metroid games like every like couple of years, you know, it's a it's a satisfying thing to do. You find the stuff on your map, you know, yeah, you increase your missile pack. Increase by two. Isn't that what the original Metroid was? Was it two or was it five? Yeah, m more frequent than once every 15 years would be pretty nice. Just uh, running. Kind of feels like we're just running. Parkour. <laughs> okay. Weird. Did I just do that first try? Did I do what A first try? Singular strike. I was just pressing buttons. <laughs> Action man, thank you for the 38 months. Thank you, Action man. Interesting, the central unit transformed the arm cannon into the Omega cannon. Omega blaster online. Hold L. Hold R to charge the Omega blaster. The Omega lull. <laughs> the Omega cannon. Once charged, press Y while holding still to fire. So can I do that to like enemies too? That's probably how we're going to kill. Um, oh, oh, thank you. Okay. Let's see anything else here. Fire! Oh. That was easy. What wrong button? Wrong button. A singular strike. That was the right button. <laughs> well, great. Depleted and offline. Great. Well, that was fun. Cool ability. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks, game. Dude, how, you got, yo, I heard you liked getting Metroided, so you got Metroided while you got Metroided. 
Uh, this way? Yep. Is this a map room or something? Save room, map room, what do we got? Save your progress, sure. Physical amnesia, I solved the robot puzzle. I saw some of this before. Uh, yeah, I, I know everybody. Uh, everybody suddenly, uh, all those streamers betrayed America, and, and suddenly became us proud Australian citizens. You know what? I am. I am more loyal to America, I guess. So I can't do that. I can't do this. Okay. Genuinely hate them. Yeah, I'm a true patriot. <laughs> Ah, uh, see, so we got some uh, agua here. Cannot deal with water. Samus' suit can deal with the insanity of space travel, but uh, like five feet of water, and that's it, man. She can't do it. Uh, well, I am already lost. But honestly, that's kind of a good thing in a Metroid game, I feel like. If you want to be lost. Right. Casio water and Metroid. Did we just start? We have been playing for like 15, 50 minutes. I've been playing for too long. Boom, shock a lot. Get, get in the hang of the parry. Seems like parrying is going to be really good. Seems really, really strong. True Patriot. Oh, oh. Alrighty. So it says items. Oh, is that overall items or is that the items in Artaria? I guess that might, I think that might be just the items in Artaria. Okay. So I can't. Okay. So it seems like I can't go this. I can't go back. So whatever direction I have to go in is, is over here somewhere. Okay. Whatever direction I got to do is over here. I have to say, this is very... I'm enjoying this a lot so far. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm not a huge... I like Metroid. Not a massive fan. So I'm not like a super fan who has like, you know, a real life Samus poster on those wall. You know? I'm a casual Metroid enjoyer. Yeah, no poster. Sorry. Isn't Super Metroid my favorite Metroidvania? I think I'd have to give it to Symphony of the Night over Super Metroid. Hmm, this way? Not even a Sam. No, not. I, you know, I tried the Samus. I tried the Samus body pillow, but my wife, my wife wasn't having it. I feel like there's maybe a secret wall or something that we got to use. I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. Can I? Oh, okay. Cool. I like that. It's neat. That's kind of hard to see. Who has a regular Samus poster? I really think Samus is a character that shouldn't be like super sexy, sleek bodysuit, boobies, but like I feel I, I feel like I like Samus as kind of like a badass bounty hunter, you know? I don't know, like badass space warrior. Hmm, okay. I feel like that's like a uh, very fan servicey, you know? Yeah, like that's fine. That it didn't need to be like sexified. You know, I don't really need that. Yeah, exactly. Space Lara Croft. Isn't she over six feet tall? It's the guy from the previews. So the games like missiles and blaster don't work. Subscription.
So nothing is going to work against this guy, huh? Run! Ah. Uh. Oh. Uh, okay, this way, I guess. Uh, Onosaurus, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you, Onosaurus. I guess this way. Oh, this door is locked. Oh, it's a baboon. How are you? Ooh. Missile tank. Missile tank. Oh, okay. The backgrounds are amazing. I like the way this game looks for sure. Definitely like the way this game looks. Sure. Uh, was that a serious question? I don't know anything about this game. I don't know anything about this game either. Is this justifiably $60? I've been playing for like 15 minutes, dude. It's reasonable to assume all Emmy would be possible. Emmy sent out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Okay. They're not like dolphins. An Emmy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you. Line of sight, I thought they were hearing me. An Emmy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the Emmy zone exits. You will be trapped inside. So when I see one of these things, they're going to start chasing after me and seal the zone Survive. exits. You must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the Emmy and it will disengage. Okay. Enemy so run away. Zone, their There's sight hearing. Must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an Emmy captures you. Thanks, Fee. I really appreciate there that. Be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. Okay. We are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first Emmy. Your highest priority in an Emmy zone should be. Got you. Run away. Roger that. Adam does not sound like I thought he would. I think in Metroid Fusion, I imagined Adam as like, like a human voice. I guess. I don't. Really, I guess I'm not sure why. I, I, that's how I imagined it. But okay, so I can't get in there. I guess I need. Uh, I don't know if I need Morph Ball or something. I wonder if you can like cling to the walls or something. Ha! Uh, well, I I can't get the missile pack. <laughs> what if I uh, slide off here? Nope, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, but that allow. Okay, so that allows me to go through here. Gotcha. Uh, error can't be shown. Thank you for the 22 months. Thank you, error can't be shown. Hmm. Uh, and I'm just kind of... Oh. Oh. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. People run. Missed on the platforms is a nice touch. This game is sick. Uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I feel like a Met you, uh, you have to be patient with like a Metroidvania style game because you have to like see how how is the game going to open up to you as you play. So I think you just have to be patient with it a little bit. Okay, so can't make that. Yoink.
So that's a uh, run, the run attack. There's some kind of run attack. I, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> Barb Gadnon, I don't have run attack. <laughs> so this thing is uh, really coming after me. She's got to run at you with that. Come on. You consider trying on Fusion for size. Uh, Metroid Fusion is a very cool game. I like Metroid Fusion a lot. One of the things that really bothers me about Fusion is I feel like the soundtrack sucks. But it's also like a fucking Game Boy Advance game. Like, what are you expecting from fucking Game Boy Advance? Okay, so I still can't get in there. But after Super Metroid, it's like, man, the Super Metroid soundtrack is so good. So I can't get in there. Uh, okay. Who knew Barb Gabnon had staying power? Uh, you know, it's always the stuff you never expect. Always the stuff you never expect. Yeah, there were good soundtracks in the Game Boy Advance for sure. I just wouldn't, I wouldn't say that the best thing about Fusion is not the soundtrack, is what I would say. Hey, I, all right, I have a question. I, I don't actually want to know the answer to this. Oh shit, I'm not actually asking for the answer. Is that fucking asshole Ridley going to show up? I feel like I don't want Ridley to show up. Fucking asshole pterodactyl Ridley. Do we really need the fucking douchebag Ridley showing up here? Like, why? What? what is with Ridley? Why is he always showing up? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I'd say probably. <laughs> probably. So you wonder, how does this fucking asshole pterodactyl get around the galaxy so fucking much, right? Ooh, okay, so missiles are pretty good against those, okay? He's the Bozer of Metroid. The draining of the water levels is cool. I like that a lot. It's pretty neat. He's busy in Smash. Ridley Scott. So I think this must have changed something somewhere else, I guess. Okay. You don't even know who Ridley is. He's, he's, uh, Ridley's been in almost every, has he been in every Metroid game? Uh, I'm not sure. Ow. Oh. I if he's been in like every single Metroid game. Uh, so, oh, okay. So I can go this way now. Mother Brain is the leader of the space pirate. Ridley is the space pirate leader. The Metroid lore confuses and angers me. <laughs> He's second in command to Mother Brain. I mean, is it intelligent? Like, I, I, I feel like it can't be intelligent. It just shows up and goes and bounces on its tail for like 20 minutes. There's no way it's intelligent, right? How is the new Metroid? Ah, uh, so, yeah. Ah! <laughs> in Metroid 1, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, uh, Ridley in Metroid 1. He looks like Squidward. Looks like Squidward. <laughs> this haircut. I just described half of Twitch chat. Looks a hell of a lot like Squidward. In Metroid 1, he's uh, kind of a joke, actually. Uh... Kraid is more dangerous in Metroid 1 than, than Squidward. Okay. So I don't know where I'm going. We're just... Just going. We're just going. Okay. Ah, oh, missile pack. Famicom version is harder than the NES version. Uh, what, for Metroid 1? What's up, Lika? Uh, so we were already there on that side. Okay, I am assuming we're going the right way. I feel like I can really only go one way right now, but... 
It's probably not going to last. Uh, what is that thing? Ow. Oh, I feel like I can open that door if I didn't have fucking douchebag chasing after me right now. You know, maybe that's like, uh, you need the triple beam to do that. Maybe. Oh, I see. Man, this thing is on my ass. <laughs> this thing is on my ass. Okay. I like, uh, oh. Is this still after me? Jeez, man. This thing is nasty. I think so far what's, what, what's cool is that I feel like the environments are really interactable. Like, I like l l raising and lowering water levels and stuff. I feel like that's really neat. I feel like a lot of Metroid games, it kind of feels like an environment you can't do anything with. You just kind of learn to navigate it. You can, like, shoot a wall, right? I like how the, you can change the environment and like raise water levels, open doors, you know, like it's pretty neat. The graphics are crisp. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like you don't play this game for the graphics because this looks like a game that came out like eight years ago or something. Does it look bad? No, but it doesn't look like a game that came out eight years ago. Right, I think we're nobody. Nobody is playing this game for the insane graphics, you know. Yeah, you're not playing it for the graphics. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is happening to me? Oh, cold. I was like, wait, what's going on to me? Uh, Solid Snake, thank you for the 12 months. Thank you, Solid Snake. It, it looks good. It, it, it looks good. It, I don't think it, it just doesn't look like, you know, I don't know. There's been games, th there's games and styles, I think, that have been much stronger than this for a long time. That, that's all. It's just, it's hard. It's, it's one thing to look good. It's another thing to look like great. And looking great nowadays is really difficult, I think. It's really hard. Frame rate over graphics. I still don't feel super comfortable with the... Oh, dude, we can helicopter dick with Samus. Helicopter dick. Helicopter dick. <laughs> I am two years old. You look great. What games do you think look great? I think the, the modern games that I think of that look next level are either like amazing faces and environments or they have like an incredible style. So like I think Hades looks incredible. I think... Well, I don't like Last of Us 2, but I thought Last of Us 2 looked incredible. I think God of War looked incredible. Um, those those are some games that just come off the top of my head that, that were... I, uh, Sekiro looks incredible. Yeah, so. Hmm. Aesthetics over FPS. Ooh. Charge beam. Okay. I thought Death Stranding looked good. Yeah. Not as good as some other games, for sure. The faces in Death Stranding were very strong. Uh, focus is beam energy to unleash a powerful shot. Press and hold Y to charge and then release to fire. Charge shots damage enemies immune to normal, such as robots and bosses. Okay, so maybe I can kill the dickheads now, the guys that are chasing me? I doubt it, though. I doubt it. Spin jumping when the beam is fully charged. Can perform a charge attack. I don't know what the charge attack means.
Okay. Well, the manual aiming on that's pretty cool. So I wonder what doors can I open now? Hmm. Let's take a look at our map here. Uh, let's see. Zoom in and out. Oop, hang on. The map is gonna. The, there's no. The map is gonna get way bigger than this. <laughs> like, guaranteed. Returnal was this year's best looking. Returnal looks very good for sure. Oh, that guy died really fast. Okay. You think Returnal is game of the year? What else came out this year? For I feel like I have amnesia. What what else came out this year? So this door, normally I can't open this door. Can I open this door with this? Yes, I can. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I still can't get over there. Physical amnesia. No, this is more like brain amnesia. Ooh. Energy tank. Okay, fuck yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, who's a good boy? Thank you for the 27 months. Mario Golf. Yeah, Mario Golf came out. All guys. Uh, thank you. Who's a good boy? Quarter Ram. Thank you for the five months. I'd say so far I'm having a really good time with this game. We just started, but... I feel like with, Metro with uh, Metroidvanias, you have to give them time to, like, marinate. You know? Uh, that was bad. <laughs> that was not a very good parry. You gotta like see what are the abilities you get. You know, well, how does the map, how cool is the map? That sort of thing. Resident Evil 8. I don't know if I'd say Resident Evil. I'd probably say I like Returnal better than Resident Evil 8. There's no way still hasn't received a good PC patch. Really? What's wrong with Resident Evil 8 on PC? Resident Evil is ugly as fuck most of the time. Resi you think Resident Evil is ugly? I think Resident Evil looks great. You think it looks ugly? Uh, all right. Uh, it still says what it wants us. God, I'm, I'm looking at the map and I'm just like, oh my God. So it said we, we want to get back to the surface and survive is our priority. Uh, sure, but I'm killing it with the perfect parries. Yeah, I thought Resident Evil 8 looked amazing. Mario Golf is the obvious winner. You know, I think Mar I'd call I'd say Mario Golf is the dark horse of uh, game of the year. I don't think that's gonna happen. Ooh, we can open this now. like a shortcut or something what the fuck is that supposed to mean <laughs> I don't know Subscription. I wonder if I should be like shooting every wall Uh, Poggers, thank you very much. Pretty barren year up in, up until now, really. Ah, shit. Well, I guess we can see if the charge beam works against this guy, right? that worked wow that was uh that was really abrupt really really abrupt Brant, dead gone goodbye next extremely abrupt on that one uh well i guess we're going back this way yeah very uh anticlimactic too i guess uh they said that there's a, a virtually impossible way to escape from that maybe you can like perfect parry that or something maybe you can like perfect parry or something
Hmm, can I? No, I can't reach over there. Makiri counter? Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we lured him down here, and now we're going to have more time to escape up here. Did I, did I go in there? I'm a little unclear what the various kinds of doors mean. A little, a little unclear on that. Okay, no one's asked. Grandpa IGN gave it a nine out of 10. What? <laughs> what the hell did that mean? Can I go this way? So these doors are like detecting my presence. And that stops me from going forward. Okay. Okay, I see. Yeah, there was something in the background there. It looks like these doors are like motion activated or something. Interesting. Uh, oh, I don't think I've been in here. Let's go ahead and do this. Sure, save our progress. See the red key card from Doom. We gotta go. We gotta go to our PDA. Uh, this door. Aha. Okay, haven't been here. Yeah. Someone gave Far Cry a six and nine. Others refused to give it a score. Why are people? Ref why would you refuse to give a game a score? Oh. Ow. Before you buy is the only reviewer you need to watch. I, if, I, if I'm curious about a game, I don't do it so much anymore because I usually play everything anyway. I will typically watch a Twitch streamer play it for like five or 10 minutes and decide like, okay, yeah, I wanna play that. <laughs> that's, that's my decision-making process. Ow. These like space bees. That's, that's me anyway. That's literally what I just did with you. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, pretty much. Well, this is any like Super Metroid, you can like bomb your way out of here, right? Hmm, interesting. This game is fun, but fusion is a hundred times better. Oh, too hot, hot. Too hot, ow. But you don't watch IGN review? What the fuck, man? I don't really watch a lot of things. There's a lot of things I just straight up don't interact with or watch at all. Uh, parrying, parrying trivial, trivializes a number of enemies for sure. I like the parry, the, the melee slash parry. I think it's interesting. Recharge station. The thermal fuels flow has been redirected. So we changed the lava, the lava flow. My favorite Metroid game could beat up your favorite Metroid game. God damn, I want all these missile packs. Can't get them, man. Does that mean there's a way through here? barely using them yeah but i want them though uh sure all 
All right. One hour to new Metroid and no Morph Ball. Kick W, he does not know. No Morph Ball, Kick W. Hmm. Feel like I should follow this pipeline thing. I, I guess. Hey, wait, this isn't Super Metroid. Uh, Best reviewer you found is Skill Up on YouTube. I don't really watch any YouTubers. Assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of the Chozo Warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. You have seen the Warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts on this planet. I think uh. that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. The situation remains unclear. But your view have activated the magma supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Hmm. Seek them out. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first Emmy. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an Emmy is destroyed. There are six remaining Emmy hunting you. You have one. Okay, no, no means to do that. The AI, the AI voice is eerie. So we've now opened. Oh, so that's what these are. Those are thermal Bits. doors. Okay, I didn't realize. All right, got you. Uh, Dereal Tesla Coil, thank you for the bits. Looking sharp today, well groomed. Uh, well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. Thank you for the bits. Or, yeah, thank you for the bits. I don't remember where all of those doors are, <laughs> like, at all. You really don't remember. Uh, that that was one of them. I think we're just gonna keep following the pipeline here, I guess. I what? Did I just get fucking bamboozled? Did I just get goddamn bamboozled. Run amok. They love fucking bamboozling your dick in these games, man. Shit. Rut row. Open the door. The fuck is this thing? It's firing Cheerios at me again. Fire! I have the missiles. Out. You know, Nintendo, you can't make every boss a fucking eyeball, all right? Contrary to what you might think, not every boss can be an eyeball. Uh, into an Omega Cannon. So we can do the Omega Cannon again. Omega Stream. Omega Cannon. Omega Stream. Omega this. Omega that. Hold Y to fire the Omega Stream and heat up the shielding. That's neat. Okay. I wonder if that's something we can actually, like, use in battle or not. Okay. 
hold L to use aim mode. Can I? Can I fight this thing now? Wow, when you when it feels disappointing when those things grab you and you die like that. That is a real like oh, that's a real disappointing death. <laughs> All right, where does that? Uh, okay, so it puts me here. Got gotcha. you. I think I might be able to kill that thing now. It's like oh. Okay, I have, I have something else I want to figure out here. Hang on. A singular strike. Okay, so it's coming for me. Oh shit, it didn't work! <laughs> okay, okay. So this thing is exactly like the door. I have to shoot it a lot with the one thing and then hit it with the cannon on the other thing. It's exactly like the door. Right, got you. All right, I got it now. Now I wonder if, if this hallway is long enough for me to do it. That was pretty close. <laughs> Spider magnet. All right. Your soul is mine. Spider magnet. Allow Samus to attach the blue magnetic surface walls and use a magnetic field. Ooh, okay. And move and attack. All right, cool, cool. I like that. I feel like it's kind of disappointing that you can only use the Omega Cannon when the game like wants you to. It's like what I, I guess they don't want it being too powerful for the rest of the game. It's like, man, that's so cool. I, you know, you just, you just turn it on for these boss encounters and just leave it off all the other time, I guess. All right, so now. Okay, cool, got you. You thought it was ice. Rope combat. Yeah, it looks like you can do some rope combat here. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Yeah, I like, uh, I think so far my favorite thing about this game is like the little, the little environment of this game feels really cool. I feel like the environment's really cool. I think that might be my favorite aspect. It's like interactable in a way that like previous Metroid environments were not. Uh, the movement feels pretty good. I'd say the movement feels good for sure. Hmm? Wait, am I stupid? Nope, I just don't, I can't open this door. <laughs> Not stupid, just can't open it. Aha! More missiles. Fire! Uh, okay, let's see. Where? Oh, God. Looking at the map, I'm like, oh, oh, God, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> the map is uh, a lot. Uh, let's see, where can I go? Yeah. Ah, okay, that's why the arrows were there. Got you. Yeah. 
Yeah, the map is uh, a lot for sure. Something like a lot, like compare this to like the Hollow Knight map, which the Hollow Knight map is is very straightforward, simplified. There's a lot of information on this map. <laughs> Not necessarily like it's a good or a bad thing. It just kind of is what it is. So that is a shortcut we've unlocked now. I remember this area. We've unlocked this shortcut now. Okay. I feel like the hollow. I well, I feel like the Hollow Knight map is a little less cluttered than this. It's like easier to digest the information. I guess maybe, maybe I'm not remembering Hollow Knight super well. Ow. Oh yeah, Hollow Knight's way too easy. Uh, help me step bro I'm stuck <laughs> I don't think we can do anything there step bro is stuck and I can't do anything here oh step bro is not stuck Why do I make you come out? Oh, okay. Weird. I guess you can counter that too. Step bro is a grower, not a shower. So like the, the little cutscene before, the little cutscene before the boss kind of teaches you. This one's like missiles, and you can slide under, I guess. What about the whoa? the camo did you just create like a wall thing I can grab onto it's fucking gaping dragon Okay, I have, uh, I keep missing that. Ow.
Boy, this fight just goes on and on. Oh shit, I could have been firing missiles that whole time. Oh, that's sick. Okay. So it's like a quick, it's like a quick time event. If you counter, if you hit the parry, it gives you like all this opportunity to like do this bonus damage. That's very cool. That's very cool. That was sick. That was really cool. So that was the point of that. You counter and then you can, in that little cutscene, you can keep firing missiles in its face. That's neat. Sam is like Black Widow, such a poser. <laughs> Phantom Cloak acquired. Okay. I bet this lets us get past the doors that kept detecting my presence. I bet that's what this does. Okay, let's see. Press the right stick to activate. Press it once again to deactivate. Um, Invisible to enemies by refracting lights. You can also move silently. Ooh, so you can actually evade the hunter guys by doing that. Will consume energy instead. Should it deplete the energy of one, it will automatically deactivate. After deactivation, Aeon begin to recharge automatically once makes any actions. The ability cannot be activated until the Aeon is full. Okay, so I'm too good of a gamer. What's up, Hori Penis? So this is the door and now we got you. That's cool. I like that. How many of those doors are around here anyway? Aha. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they're stealth doors. Pretty cool. Where is my health bar? Uh, top left. It says uh, 84. Interesting. Oop. Ow. been through all these okay so we were here earlier as well pretty cool boss gotta say the first boss was neat ow still can't go through there uh let's see how do we zoom out again oh. now zoom out So we're still only in Artaria, I guess. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going. We we went through here already, didn't we? Very lost. I like the parry for sure. Definitely like parrying. It was cool that there was that extra layer in the... Ow, 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 hot. It was cool that there was that extra layer in the boss fight, you know? It wasn't just like, just shoot him, you know? Okay, well we know about this, we can now go this way, right? Let's do it. Oh, I can actually, okay, so I activated this thing, cool. Okay, neat. What's all this then? 
Okay, interesting. Ow. Okay. Sure. What does this do? Oh, shit, man. <laughs> this area, this map is going to be fucking gigantic. Oh, is this like a fast travel point or something? Hang on. Before we go there, what's over here? Ow. Okay, not that way. All right. Well, let's do it then. <laughs> Do you really need to, do you really need to step into the fire to know that it's too hot? Like I have to actually physically go into the room and be like, oh my god, I'm dying. Like a fusion elevator? I guess maybe, yeah. It's gonna be enormous. Yeah, I guess we'll see. I feel like we should add on, like if I put this on YouTube, we should add on some elevator music here, like ba 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 ba. <laughs> there, why, why isn't there elevator music? We shop music? Yeah, maybe. Ow. 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 Stop it. Uh, quiz up. Thank you for the 15 months. Thank you, quiz up. Ow. Whoa. What the fuck are you? I feel like these enemies are here in the game as constant parry practice. Like the game wants you to constantly practice parrying. <laughs> Maintenance workers nightmare. CPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the Zubat. central routing system for the magma. It is here in Cataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Cataris. Mm -hmm. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under right. Under the shuttle, somewhere above here. Use it to find a path. Find the shuttle. To discuss. It is your new phantom cloak ability. The phantom cloak prevents the enemy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to note that using the phantom cloak severely decreases your mobility and direct contact with an enemy with the phantom okay. cloak. Okay, so basically like... Once an enemy sees you, you will need a phantom cloak and remain active after your aim has mm -hmm. been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Right. Okay, so basically we can avoid the robots that instant kill us. We, we can't fight them, but we can at least avoid them now. Oh, I thought that thing was alive. Uh, let's see, what's over here? Zoltron. Hmm, nothing this way. Let's see how they got Ned from South Park to voice that voice. <laughs> Uh, so we open this door. I don't think there's anything I can do here. Yeah, nothing I can do here. Okay, let's go here. Uh, is there any story so far? Yes, but I feel like the story is not... Like, I'm not like, oh my god, wowed by the story so far. Feels kind of generic Metroid-y to me. But I'm, I can't, I'm not really playing this game for the story. I'm not really playing it for the story. Um, so I can't. Hmm. Ah, okay. It's like, I can't go back if I do that, right? What is this redirect the lava as well? Oh, it's just a recharge. Okay. Ah, uh, yes, I got a haircut. Feels good, man. Getting a getting a haircut after you've got like a fucking big ass mop, like ah, feels awesome. 
Ow. Uh, he really does. Uh, Mr. Marketing, thank you for the 28 months. Thank you, Mr. Marketing. Okay, so this is the... We could not go here earlier. But I say Metroid is good at storytelling. Absolutely not. No. I think Metroid is... Probably, I'd say... Average at best. I'd even say, like, below average at storytelling. I feel like only a lunatic plays these games for the fucking story. Hmm. So I can't get up here unless I get some kind of screw attack or something. Oh, that hurt. That also hurt. Ow, that really hurt. Prime 3 had a full narrative. That would explain other M. If you're looking for like a strong narrative in a game, I, I just wouldn't go with fucking Metroid. <laughs> Not what these games are good at. For PC, is this game for PC? No. This game is not for PC. You still like reading it? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's okay to be wrong. From a fantastic that ever having any spoken cutscenes. Gabnon wants to understand story. Whoa, these are like suicide attackers. Okay, it looks like there was a secret there. Is it Xbox exclusive for a while? Can you shut up? Ow! Hot! Uh, what's in here? Ah, god damn it! Stop throwing pterodactyls at me. God damn it. Everything. <laughs> Fucking. Can I farm here? Can you farm energy in this game? You can. Huh? Only on Dreamcast. So it's a different, now we've got a different one of these fuckers. Oh, but we just evaded it. Oh, we turned on our invisibility and we evaded this one. Got you. Okay. Right. Remain cautious. Colliding with it will still result in it. All right. So we still have to avoid that. The graphics are really interesting. When was the last time I saved? Okay, it still it just walked directly into me. <laughs> really wasn't much I could do. Is it alien ice? I know the instant death. I tried to uh, parry it. I tried to parry it. I just was not able to. I tried. I haven't figured out the timing. How do I feel like the game is running? I feel like the game is running very smooth. 
I'm not impressed with just like the way it looks overall. I feel like it looks fine. I think I think it really shows its age with like the lighting and some of the cutscenes, but uh, I think it looks fine. Like I'm not playing this game for the graphics, you know. Well. You fuck, bitch. So when that thing grabs you, you can parry it. It's, uh, they said it's basically impossible, but I think it's just a really, really narrow window where you can do that, I guess. Like a really, I don't, I don't know what the window is, but a very, very narrow window where you can actually prevent it from grabbing you. That's kind of cool that there's like still something you can do, even if it's like really difficult, like at least you still have some kind of option, you know? I don't know. I don't think it's for, I think frame perfect would be a little extreme. Have to guess. All right, it's like a last chance. I like that there's a last chance mechanic for the instant kill. That's cool. Shut up. Uh, what's up, Miz? How's it going? Uh, there is no hard mode in this game. You just play the game. <laughs> so that's that's a benefit to me because I don't have to listen to you guys being like, Why isn't he playing on hard mode? Works for me. Oh, it looks like I can blow up the ceiling here. Ooh. We got. Ah! <laughs> Ow. Uh... Boy, these things ever die? Hmm. What's the point of this room? We can go up top there. What does this uh, mean? Marker? What? What does that mean? I'm confused. Oh, is this a charge door? Uh, I don't know what this is. Mm, yeah. Okay. So we're going back this way. Maybe it's like a one way. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I had to do this. Oh, it's like a lava flow door. Okay. I think. I think we're going the yeah, I think we're going the right way. Yeah, all right. Abilities in Hollow Knight are more fun than Metroid. I mean, it's a little premature to say that, don't you think? I mean, we, we don't even have all the abilities in this game. Just talking about like the originals or something. Looks like there's nothing I can do there yet. You're probably not going to win a lot of fans or like a lot of friends today going around talking about how Hollow Knight's so much better than Metroid because I mean, for one thing, Hollow Knight owes. Oh, so this is that indicating that there's heat over here? I think it is. Yeah, it sure is. Hollow Knight owes a lot to Metroid, and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's okay for those things to exist, you know, I guess. Wait, what is this? Oh, do we like turn it on? 
Hollow Knight outshine the master. To be fair, the master hasn't even tried to make a Metroid game in like two decades. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Hollow Knight has been built up so much by its rabid fan base. I played it and I really can't muster much more than saying it's pretty good, I guess. Like, I don't really feel that strongly about it. I definitely feel much more strongly about Super Metroid. And probably some of that is that I, you know, it's a nostalgia thing and stuff like that. But I feel like the atmosphere and exploration and just the world of Super Metroid, I like it better. I definitely say I enjoy like I, I would say that I definitely enjoy uh, Super Metroid and Symphony of the Night a lot more than Hollow Knight. I still think Hollow Knight's a good game though. Okay, so we were here earlier and this is where we couldn't go. Okay, but now we've got the lava flow. We can go this way. Gotcha. Uh, recharge station you love you lo yeah i think the thing with hollow knight with with hollow knight fans is that that's the first time they ever played a metroidvania and they like that like blew their minds but like like the metroid existed and a lot of other games existed that did that same thing before hollow knight <laughs> yeah it was babby's first metroidvania for my money i think symphony Night is my favorite great like really fun to play you can play the way you want it to the music is fucking banger the bosses are cool the twist is amazing like i think i think symphony of the night is my favorite i've only played through symphony of the night once i should play it again at some point can you please thank you Uh, Phoenix, thank you for the six months. Thank you, Phoenix. Really appreciate that. What am I doing? I don't think there's anything I can do about this. Well, I found a door I can't open. <laughs> Saying that it's their first is dismissing peop uh, people's opinions, honestly. I played both Super Metro Super Night before Hollow Knight and still like Hollow Knight a lot better. That's not dismissing their opinions. I, I think that it's a fair thing to say that a lot of people's first exposure to the genre was Hollow Knight. So they are like, oh my God, it's mind blowing. Where a lot of the stuff in Hollow Knight isn't really not as mind-blowing. I don't think that's dismissive. I think that's an accurate assessment. What you're doing is you're getting emotional, whereas I'm being rational about it. You leave Hollow Knight alone! It's a great game! Relax. Nobody's saying it's not a good game. It's a good game, man. We all agree. Nobody's saying it's a bad game. You're not appreciating it hard enough! And I disagree. Hmm. Ow. God. You mind? Jeez, asshole. Leave my zero mission alone. Hollow Knight fans, slow fans, just swords. Yeah, it, it, they, they really are rather annoying. Oh my God. What the fuck are you? I am uh, fairly close to dying here. What did I get for doing that? Absolutely nothing. 
I got nothing. <laughs> what was the point of that? Ah, uh, where the fuck am I? I'm I'm very lost. <laughs> very very lost. Maybe you keep following this. Being lost in a Metroidvania is actually a good thing because it's like, oh man, this world is so huge. It's actually like a cool thing when you get lost in these games. Like, where the hell am I? <laughs> actually cool. Sure, go and save our game. Did I beat Resident Evil 3 last night? Yes, I did. Was there a recharge station or oh, recharge? Yeah, recharge my shit. Yeah, getting lost in, in a Metroid game is, is pretty, is a good thing. Okay, I guess I've never been, I've never been this way apparently. Okay. Hmm. So it looks like there's something I have to activate here to make these go up and down. Probably here somewhere, okay. Imagine paying $60 for a 3DS game, but this game? I don't know, man. I mean, Super Metroid was uh, sixty or seventy dollars back in the day, right? I guarantee you, this money, this game cost more money to make than Super Metroid did. Great stealth. Really stealth that one out. <laughs> I don't understand. How do I, how do I get stuck to the ceiling there? I don't know how to get stuck to the ceiling. Ow. Maybe you stop moving. Yeah, maybe. That might be it. Okay, can't open this door. It looks like I have to be invisible to go through this door. Nope. Hmm. Where the hell am I going then? Jeez, man. Stop it. Ow! New cat. Ah, oh, we are getting the cat later today. Picking up the cat later today. Sensor locked door. Is that where I'm trying to go? Hmm. Not so sure. Our cat name is Kramer. I think my wife had. My wife really didn't want to name the cat Snake. I think she has relented. She's relented, and I think we're going with Snake. Oh, those things give you a lot. And she finally relented. Yep. Opening doors with corresponding weapons feels so good in Metroid. So this is the invisibility door. Okay. Oh, we were here earlier, and that's where I, that's where I ran away to save my life. Right. She have her own name ideas. I think she was kind of advocating for Kramer, but I kind of like Snake. So. What's her choice? Probably Kramer. Ninety-one makes the name. Well. I don't know. She kind of decided on George Costanza to some degree because I kind of wanted to name the cat Bilbo. But I mean, George is fine. 
Probably that's a bad name for a cat. In the end, it doesn't even matter what you name the, what you name your pet. Like it doesn't matter. We did, we never call Georgie like we call him like everything but George. We call him like like you know we we just we literally every time I call him I call I have a new name for him. <laughs> Doofus asshole. Yeah, exactly. Ow. Subscription. Thanks for the shop, loser. Uh, on two planks. Thank you for the tier two, 19 months. Simon Kayo, thank you for the 21 months. Thank you very much. Kilo Predator, thank you for the 15 months. Nice guys. Uh, let's see. Where are we going now? Okay. For your okay, cool. Kind of cool to melee parry those things while you're on the wall. Pretty neat. Okay. Well, we have named our cat Zelda, the man's I ear. I don't think you can parry projectiles now. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any enemy you encounter will likely do so, as if you are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capability. You are faced with okay. a helping power. Accept your helplessness. Study each enemy carefully <laughs> and use the phantom float to advance. There are risks even here. The phantom yes, we know. Do not hesitate to destroy an enemy. Whenever you discover more, you need energy. This was not one of your original priorities. Love the pep talk. Accept your helplessness. You are useless. Okay, map. Uh... Well, we already killed one of these. Ah. Through the wall? Jeez, man. Those enemies suck. Hmm. Okay, another room. I'm the one who wave beams. Accept your helplessness is a new fuck you for subbing. <laughs> Is this like a map or something? What actually is this room? Must be, right? Alrighty. Yikes. Oh boy, these uh the maps of the, the maps in this game are daunting. They are daunting. So we still don't have a way to do something here. Oh, no, we can do something here. Hang on. Yeah, the game's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, right? Okay, so I'm pretty sure that door is you need the triple shot or something. I think I think we need a different kind of gun to open that door. Ooh, E tank. Ow, ooh, ow. I want, oh my god, there's so many E-tanks. Look at that, two E-tanks? Oh. 
Ow! Ow! Okay. How forgiving is the parrying? Uh, I think it depends on what enemy you're facing. From what I've seen, the parrying is really not that difficult. I think the only difficult parry that I've noticed is when you get caught by the giant robot dudes. That one does seem like a pretty narrow window. Uh, I've only been I've I've only been caught like three times, and I only got to escape once. So, yeah, it seems like it's a pretty narrow window. If you figure out the timing, it's probably not so bad though. Maybe like slightly concerning, like maybe if you get good enough, you can just like make the robots like a joke because you could just parry them. Maybe like a little concerning in that sense. There you go. <laughs> so far, I haven't been able to hide from these guys, like, at all. They're also the only thing that has killed me. It is random. That one was really fast. That one was really fast. Wow, it is random. So sometimes the light will be super fast and then sometimes it'll be super slow. So when that light appears, that's like your your window. It's definitely interesting. Oh, I think I'm pretty sure this is where we want to go actually. Oh boy, that's a cool way to signal it, right? So it's like a it's like a reaction test. Like, can you react to it fast enough? My God, man, this map is hurting my fucking brain. <laughs> this map hurts my fucking brain, dude. I don't know what anything means. What do all these doors mean? I can't remember. So I know that we turned off the lava in a certain spot. It's just that there's a secret because it's flashing here, right? There's, that means there's a secret or something. Well, the secret's probably literally in there where I can't even go. Hmm. Down here or something? What? Pardon? Can you set markers on your map? Yeah, you can you can place markers, yeah. Oh yeah, that's that's what that is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty lost here. Pretty lost. It does feel good to be lost in a Metroid game, though. It does feel pretty good. Nice, familiar feeling. Okay, so we lowered the lava. Does that mean this area is... Nope. <laughs> I was like, is this area traversable now? Hmm. I get lost in games masterfully. I mean that's the true that's the true super like Metroid Metroidvania experience, man. Retracing your steps in areas you've been like twenty times. So if I want to do that, I have to do okay. God damn it. Yeah, no morph ball yet. 
I can hear the couch comments already. The criticisms are beginning are gonna start. Come on, babe! You can find your way, babe! Come on, man! Sarah so did this already. Come on, babe! <laughs> Not that hard, babe. So, is this supposed to be like... Oh. So maybe that other door that I got stuck on, maybe I can actually get past that? I'm pretty sure there's nothing left to do here. Oh, is there something over here? Oh yeah, we know about that. I can't do anything there though. about up here am i winning oh yeah it's a pressure sensitive door i think we're doing okay i'm a little lost at the moment I'm not sure exactly where i'm going i think i'm retracing a lot of steps i've been to already Can't do anything here. We were already here. This is where we like the yeah, yeah, this is where we deactivated. I kind of just went in a circle. Hmm. 2.5 D looks good. Yeah, I think this game looks good. I agree. Right, so we did that, but I don't really know what that accomplished for us. not sure size of the map seems daunting yeah it, it is there's a door is there a door down here i never went into no it's a power beam door i can't make it through so i guess i can't go that way because i don't have the power beam Jeez, man. Jeez. No vaccine to take it. Why the fuck? I, I, let me, let me, let me ask you something, Acura Star. Let me ask you something. Who the fuck wants your fucking dumbass, stupid ass, moron ass help? Who would ever fucking want your help? Let alone me, who I play fucking ev almost every fucking game I play. I play blind, no help on stream. Who fucking wants your fucking idiot help? This new game came out. I've been stuck for five seconds. Not sure where to go. Oh my God. Won't this guy, this won't this random asshole. Please help me. Get over yourself. People like to play games. At least streamers like to play stuff and figure it out once in a while. Emmy zone door. I don't remember what Emmy zone means. <laughs> I remember what that means. Uh, it's so fucking dumb. Like, stuck for like two minutes. Like, oh my god, bud! Ah, I really do feel like I'm going backwards here. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Gift sub. Don't gift sub him. Don't get, don't reward his bullshit. Don't fucking reward him. Or I oh no, it's a different person. Never mind. Something else. Thank you for the gift sub. I, I every time I fucking get irritated at somebody in chat, somebody's like, time to gift sub them. Subscription. Uh, Chimera, thank you for the ten months. Thank you, Chimera.
I should annoy Barb more often. God damn it, man. These guys keep... They really are, like, to me, they're basically the only dangerous thing in the whole game. Subscription. They're pretty much the only thing that's dangerous. Oh shit. It's a pressure door. Oh, did I not? Gift sub. Subscription. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, Sabonis, thank you for the nine months. Goif, thank you for the gift sub. Rolo the Viking, thank you for the resub. Chimera, thank you very much. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was neat. Well, I've been here before, so that really didn't accomplish anything for me. Wasn't there another pressure door I saw and I was like, oh, I don't know how to do that. And then I walked away from it. I remember where that was. Hmm. I remember where that door was. You got hit with a nine ad combo. Should do dread whenever those guys show up. Let's see what you did there. Uh, it could be this way. What is this? Shutter. Power beam door. Access open. I don't have a power beam. Ow. You can tell that my parents let me in the cash register when they were going to get something. So we were here and we had no idea how to unlock this door, right? Yeah, we don't know how to unlock this door. Hmm. Okay, so we're here. We did that. Charge beam door. There's a missile tank we can't get. Uh, interactive device used. Charge beam door. Pretty lost. Up. Oh, this is this thing, right? Okay. I think we've already done this. To yeah, we did this already. Man, where the fuck am I going? Now we're Metroiding. God fucking damn it, dude. There's, there was another device here and we used it, right? Yeah, there. this was another device and we used that. So there's clearly something we've just overlooked. We've clearly overlooked something. A deflect on the wall grab. Well, yeah, the deflect is uh, pretty handy. Pretty cool. There was uh, one of the cool... I think the one of the coolest moments so far was... Uh, Okay, you know what? I don't think I've been here. I don't think I've... I think this might be an area I haven't been to. I think one of the coolest moments so far was figuring out you could... Ah! Oh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. let's go back and get that. 
was when I figured out I could I could can't count parry the boss. You can like fire missiles directly into the face. That was pretty sick. I like that. That was a neat moment. Yeah, buddy. Cool tech in this game. Uh, these enemies are douchebags. Big douchebags. There's another area. Okay, okay. We're now entering areas we have not been. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. That's a real good sign. Uh, Philo Rube, thank you for the 25 months. Thank you, Philo Rube. Uh, are you? That's a good sign. I am enjoying this game so far. Yeah, I'm really liking the game. I know, I know I'm going to piss somebody off, but so far I like this game better than Hollow Knight. <laughs> I know that's going to piss somebody off. Somebody watching right now is super me like medge. Mm, super mad. I like this game better than Hollow Knight. No, you're not allowed. Uh, it says there's a secret somewhere. Hmm. A lot. There's a secret here somewhere. So the map flashes when you, there's a secret nearby. Where that secret is, uh, your your guess is as good as mine. Somewhere over there. Cynic is way better than this in Holiday, but Holiday wasn't sixty dollars. I mean, that's fair. Boss fight, maybe? Cool environment. All right, let's see what we got. Travel to Dairon. All right, do it. Sure, why not? It's like a smash level. Yeah, a bit, right? Oh, it's like a different kind of elevator, I guess. All right, I have to get up. I have to pee real fast. I'll be back in just one moment, guys. Uh, be right back. Sorry, two seconds. Got to pee. Be right back. We'll continue the Metroid. All right. Sorry about that. I am back. Uh, let's continue. This game is... Uh, I'm really enjoying this game so far. Really, really liking this game so far. Okay. Where's the barb man? Barb man is back. Sorry about the wait. How's the game? Uh, game's been very fun so far. I'm really enjoying it. Okay. Hmm? So this is a new area. Whoa. Subscription. That it was a uh, Dyron, right? Ah, uh, critical everything. Thank you very much for the twenty-three months. Guys, name the five best name the five best areas in Metroid of all time. Dairon, 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 because it spits hot fire. <laughs> uh, I'm a little confused. Can I not do anything here? Fuck. Hmm. Never played Metro. Is this a good game to start with? Well, I don't know. I haven't finished this game. Ah, there we go. Subscription. awkward i feel like it's a little awkward to fire missiles to have to hold the button to do it it's a little awkward i'm i'm not quite good at it 
Uh, Simon, thank you for the two months. The consensus that I need to drop 60 on this game. Well, it's all like Nintendo games ever go on sale, right? So it's either that or never play it. Okay, why is this here? There's like nothing here. This game's gonna be this game's gonna be sixty dollars for the next ten years. <laughs> sure. Gives me a Doom vibe. I like the art style. Yeah, I'm I'm having a great time with the game so far. I'm really liking it. Whoa! Fucking buzz saws. Jeez, man, those are cool. <laughs> know if I can kill those. Oh, that looks like something. Hmm. Charge beam? No, that's clearly like a like a kind of shot or something we don't have. It's something we don't have yet. Trade your Mar your copy of Mario Maker 2 and $20 for Dread. Good deal. Uh, you're going to trade in your copy of Mario Maker. Uh, and they're going to give you money for it? Yeah, sure, man. Sounds great. I think with a game like this, like, it, uh, when it comes to, like, oh, what's your opinion? I think it really depends on how, like, is this game going to be replayable at all? I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I didn't even see what I got hit by. I'm assuming it fired out some kind of projectile. I don't know what the replayability is going to be like on this game, obviously, but. Woo. You have to pay the extra $20. Can you move the big yellow blocks? Uh, what is this thing? I like how the lighting, when I'm charged up, it provides light on the background. That's kind of a cool visual effect. I like that. It's a, it's a little thing, but I enjoy it. The speed run's gonna be sick. Ow, motherfucker. Get my energy back, please. Hmm. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, give me my energy. You may assume this stuff runs on electricity. Just in general, I'd say that this game feel like all of the pieces in this game, it all feels good to play. Like the combat feels good. The ex exploration feels good. Like everything feels really nice in this game so far. No. Did I get a haircut? No. You're hallucinating, yeah. We turn the lights on. My hair just fell out. Just part of my hair fell out, yeah. So that's a missile door. Ooh, what do we have here? Wide beam, so wide. The wide people happy beam. <laughs> Wait a minute. Since we hang on, hang on guys. We have acquired the wide beam. Hang on, hang on. You know what time it is. to get wide. Uh-oh. You got the wide beam? All right. I am back. So wide. <laughs> I'm just, it's like me. It's like now we need a Metroidvania where you play as me and you get the wide beam, then you yourself become wide. See? So wide. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. A sandwich? Panera? Ugh. Ugh. Now she's going to offer me a pumpkin spice latte. 
Fire three beams simultaneously. Press Y. Okay. Subscription. Cool. Get this man a bread bowl. Uh, Nave Coat, thank you for the uh, 13 months. Uh, Gambit, thank you for the 1,000 bits. Used Y too much now, it doesn't sound like a real word. Hmm. So I can't get out. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> like, it's got to be... It literally has to be around here somewhere, right? Uh, so now we can open all those doors, which is cool. Ah! Dude, what the... What am I getting hit by there? Ah, there we go. Take my energy, please. Uh, thank you so much, Gambit. I really appreciate the thousand bits, dude. Hope you guys are enjoying the Metroid. The Meat Wad. Is that what Patty, Matt, Patty's been calling it Meat Wad. Metroid! Ah, shit. Keep a run. Oh, so that's going to be another pressure door, right? So that's the, uh, wheel. That's, oh, God. Oh, shit. That's the, man, you really have to, re if you want to do it, you really have to react. Do you have two chances to parry, actually, with the light? I don't, I don't think you do. Yeah, he's a fast one. Fixed lapel what is my my all unkempt here. This one's a different yellow one than the other. This one's yellow. <laughs> this one's yellow. Good, better. I thought I'd look good in the jacket and it actually fits. All right. So that's like a charge thing. Okay. So we were here earlier. I kind of want to go back in this room to see if I can find something. There's got to be something else in here, right? Oh, that's uh, so that's a door. That's one of those doors. You need the run attack. So are we done here in in this area? It looks like there's a fucking thing. Like there's a giant tunnel. See that thing over there on the right side? I don't know how to reach that. Oh, let's go back around. There was another door over here we can try to open. Ow. Yeah, I don't think you can avoid those. Yeah, I don't think we went. We didn't. Did we go in this door? Man, those enemies are tough to avoid. Oh, okay, we did go in here. All right, all right. Well, I guess let's go back around. You hate parrying games? It's really not that hard to do it in this game. Oh, well, I guess we have to go the long way around then, don't we? It's really not that bad. A very, it's very forgiving. That was very late and I still succeeded. 
Yoink. Okay. So I guess we're just leaving this area then. I guess we're just leaving. What's up, Shelby? Oh, I'm having a great time with the game so far. I'm really enjoying it. They had a parry like that in Metroid 2. Yeah, I didn't play the uh, Metroid 2 remake. I didn't play that one. Will I deflect the next enemy? We opened up this path. I think that's the only way we can go, right? I wonder how many doors we've now opened because we have, uh... Because we now have this capability. Hmm. It's like hole-in-one bets. Um... There was, a, there was a missile pack over here. Was there anything else up here? Let's go check this out real quick. Today is Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh's birthday. I don't think we can get up there. I don't think we can get up there. Let's go ahead and go back. All right. Well, I guess we're going back to the other area. There must be a door we can get into. Uh, so we're going back to Kataris. Okay. Back to Kataris. What's the matter, Yugi boy? Is that the actual music? Yep, that's the actual music. It's crazy, right? What a weird decision. Trinkets and baubles pay for its blood. A singular strike. Thanks, Gilbert. Are you coming after me or what? I want the help. All right. Uh, NNX, thank you for the 31 months. Young Ecologist, thank you for the seven months. True Mediator, thank you for the 14 months. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. All right. So we're looking for charge doors. Wide, wide beam cover. Okay, so let's go head over here. Thought I parried it. I think I must I must have been really close. I thought I actually parried that one. All right, you guys want to bet? Here, we'll do a bet. I'm sure it's going to happen again. If it doesn't eventually happen, we'll just, uh, we'll cancel it, or we'll cancel the bet. Will Barb parry the next death robot? Yes or no? The next time I get caught by a death robot, will I be able to parry it? There you go. Go ahead and bet. I have parried them before. It's difficult. Will I be able to parry it? And we, we did, I did name the, the title of the stream Metroid Bread, right? So we got to have some bets at some point. No, oh, it's definitely, it's very tough to parry those guys. Very tough. Excuse me, they're called Emmy. They're called robot guys. This bet could be, if I can't avoid the robot guy over here, then I'm going to be in trouble. They're called Wallies. You will be able to, will I manage to? Gentlemen automatons. 35k on the guy who does it. I read the manual. It said robot guy. <laughs> robot guys and the run at you attack.
Okay. Opened up more shortcuts, I guess. All right. Oh, shit. One of these guys again. But sometimes these guys fire Cheerios and sometimes it's firing the other thing. I think the eyeball bosses are uninspired. At least in terms of visually, like, it's a fucking eyeball on a brain. Come on, Nintendo. We play Link to the Past, all right? Not super impressed with these enemies. So we have the Omega Cannon back, okay? This is like a reminder of how to kill these guys, I guess. Hey, what do you do? Okay, that's what you do. Now that we've got it online, now we can kill this guy, right? We want to find a nice, long hallway to fight this guy in. Probably, honestly, up there probably would have been fine. Oh, that's not going to work. <laughs> that's not going to work. Hey. Got him. GG. Yeah, I don't really find these things too scary. They're fairly easy to avoid, you know, but you know, I'm also like a jaded adult, so. No, nah, that's not a parry. I didn't get caught. No, that doesn't count as parry. Hey, we got the old morph ball. That took a little while to get the morph ball. All right. Cool. Yeah, I'm just a jaded god gamer, you know. You guys, you guys wouldn't understand. Allow Samus to curl. Press Z, L, or tilt down to transform. Press B to jump. Uh, press B while moving towards the tunnel with L. So you can... Omega Cannon depleted in the offline. Press... What's, what's, wait. How do you do it? Oh. Oh, it's just... It's just press Z, L. Oh, I kept saying B. Aha, ho, ho, ha, ha. But now we can do shit like that. Cool, cool. All right, uh, let's see. Neat. Man, that's right, so cool. I'm so, I, I am very happy. I'm not, I'm not a massive Metroid fan. I am not. But I am very happy that Metroid is like... I'm very happy that this game was made. I'm very happy about it. It's about goddamn time. Really, like, this game was very surprising, right? Like, nobody was predicting a new Metroid game. Especially on top of Metroid Prime. Like, nobody was expecting it. Uh, all right. Uh, Dank Souls, thank you for the 39 months. Thank you, Dank Souls. Let's see. Well, I mean, Metroid Prime is coming, right? This says I'm missing a secret here, right? That's what this indicator thing means. So what is the secret I'm missing? Well, that's gonna fucking bother me. <laughs> well, we don't have bombs yet. I wonder if I wonder if you get uh, more fall bombs at some point. Let's try going this way. Beep. 
Have I been down here? I don't remember. Not. Uh, I'm right back. Well, we made some progress, but I'm right back to being lost again. <laughs> I guess the good news is that we can now, like, navigate this area a lot easier, which is nice. Much more convenient to navigate this whole area. That's probably the point. Uh, what's over here? Damn it. Uh, does the map show you where you've been? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think like if you look on this map right here, you see how this like this room we're looking at right now. I think that means that all the areas that are filled in, I have been in. Like I've I've traveled there, and all these areas that are not filled in, I have not. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Uh, where am I going? There's a lava area over there. We don't have the suit to go in the heat. So we have to find somewhere else to go. I'm not really sure where we're going right now. Maybe we got to go back to Dairon or something. I don't know. Yeah, lost in Metroid is the natural state of Metroid being. Can't stand the heat, stay out of the kitchen. You guys got any cool weekend plans? I know Twitch is going to be... Uh... Oh, can I actually get in here? Twitch is going to be dominated by Metroid for a little while until people start beating it. I don't know how long this game is. Oh. You're working on your thesis? In we go. Let's see what's something in here. So there's no way I can't, uh, hang on. You can't, you can only jump once, right? Yeah. <laughs> you're setting up a, uh, you're getting high on MDMA. What, what is MDMA? No bomb jumping. Yeah, we can't bomb jump. You know what? Maybe, maybe you don't tell me if you're getting high. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's something you should tell me. Ecstasy. FBI, this person right here. Don't do school, guys, and stay in drugs. I think that's how the saying goes. There's a room to the left we haven't been in, right? Like we haven't been. Hang on, let's. This room right here? Or have we been in there? Emmy zone door? Can I open that? Yeah, I haven't been in the, I, I don't think I've been in this room. Oh. <laughs> oh, but wait, I can go inside the mouth. Hey, cool. Dude, this game is sick. It's so satisfying. Slowly uncovering the map and figuring stuff out in a Metroid game feels so good. It really does. Oh, so you can also like climb in like this. Oh, in fact, I think this is the only way I can go because down there is heat. Yeah. Oh, missile plus tank. Missiles increased by 10. Wow, that's a lot of missiles. Hmm. Oh, do we just find another way back to Artaria? Huh. Use the teleport. Why not? Sure. We're back in Artaria. He's salaried. Her bounty. In all, I've played a fair amount of Metroid games. I played Metroid 1, Super Metroid, Metroid Fusion, and Metroid Prime. 
I have never seen her ass collect the bounty. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's bullshit. Private contractor. Their missile tank, sure. He's a bad bounty hunter. Oh, this is actually another door we we couldn't open before. Yeah, this is another door we couldn't open. Cool. She's paid in Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, now now the game is just pouring items oh energy part acquired one out of four collect four to increase your uh energy capacity hang on no no, no wrong one is that the right one hey, that's the right one I don't know, this is giving me, th these sections are giving me unpleasant flashbacks to uh, the digging, the digging sections in, Twi in uh, Skyward Sword, where you're the mole guy in Skyward Sword. Oh my god, I hate it. Th that might be the sections I hated the most in Skyward Sword. This shit was so miserable. I hated those parts so much. <laughs> uh, huh. Power bomb, you think? I think it's maybe a power bomb or a power missile. It's a charge door, but we don't have the thing. Yeah, super missile. That's it. I don't know. Keep shooting it. <laughs> the thermal fuels flow has been redirected. We're escaping. Ow. Oh, shit. That was exciting. Very short. Ooh. What we have here? That was a cool little section. Kind of wish it was longer. Impromptu platforming. It's cool that we're getting like pieces of our armor back bit by bit. I kind of like that. It's kind of neat. Oh, hey, we got the Varia suit. No more lava for me. Thank you very much. Reduce damage taken from enemy attacks and insulate damage from extreme heat. It does not prevent from extreme cold and lava. Just protects us from the heat, though. Okay. It increases the dash melee's damage. Okay. Cool. Aha! Neat. But this won't protect me, right?
fuck. <laughs> I wanted it. I wanted it. I didn't have enough help. Worth it? I wanted it. It's definitely worth it. The 10 missiles are worth it, I think. Let's see, can I get enough health? I guess we'll worry about that later. I feel like I don't have enough health to get it right now. Yeah, I think a lot of people are going to get jabated by that. <laughs> you have to go for it, right? I couldn't figure out how to get back out of the lava was my issue. Like I was in the lava, like I, I got to the door, but I wouldn't, I couldn't do anything from there. So. Now I've got health. Hmm. So I can't go in this. We can go here. I'd say that so far I'm having an absolutely fantastic time with this game. Having a great time with this game. Really enjoying it. Energy's already at max. Okay. Long time, no talk. You think I don't pay taxes, motherfucker? <laughs> I would be terrified to not pay taxes. I pay a fuckload in taxes. You'd be out of your fucking mind to not pay your taxes. Sorry. Funny novelty account. Yep. Yeah, I'd say that the movement feels good. So I guess we're warping back to Ataris. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'd be. I, you're kidding me if you think I don't pay my fucking taxes. Absolutely. That's called a refund. No, it's we. I I overpaid my taxes. That's not a tax refund. That's I overpaid my taxes. Basically, the I the pretty much what the IRS does is like they know how much you owe, and they expect you how much they expect you to know how much you owe, and they expect you to pay it, but they won't tell you how much you owe. They just want you to just know. It's like it's like the girlfriend who like. It's like, it's like the girlfriend who doesn't tell you what she wants for Christmas, but she expects you to know what you want. It's, it's pretty much. <laughs> uh, can I like shoot? You better know. Uh, we were here before. Oh, can I go in here now? Hmm. I wonder if I'm supposed to do that. Yeah, I'm aware. I've, I've received tax refunds in the past. You just die here, buddy. Fuck. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, shark attack. Thank you for the nine months. Thank you, shark attack. Like, all of a sudden, it's like very zoomed in. It's kind of strange. Mm, looks like there's a secret on the other side of this.
I'm a little, I'm a little confused about these guys. All right, you can just parry him once, I guess. I'm a little confused about what you're supposed to do with those guys. Like, bait out the attack or something. Oh, I'm having a great time with this game. I'm really, really enjoying it. Oh, shit. Is this a uh, crate, right? Samus is not impressed. It's Craig. Craig, get down here anyway. Help me step, Craig. Oh. Ow. Oh, God. Jeez, man. Missed my ride. Dude, right on my head. No, I... Jelly donuts, he's firing. So, am I saving the missiles for the head? I think.
Oh shit, I got I really gotta watch out for that. That one hurts too. I wonder like okay, so I Kind of wishing I had like a boss health bar here or something just to know like I don't know if this is damaging it or at all or I'm just not sure I'm assuming the mouth shots are damn it I really really gotta stop getting hit by that oh that's not good He fucking I got absolutely what was it uh, oh man I got I got absolutely starched that's what it was <laughs> he fucking smashed me in the wall yeah I got starched he got lamped <laughs> no attack is unavoidable that was a cool it seems like a cool fight Uh, where am I? I don't remember. Oh, is this it? Parry this, you fi you filthy casual. Why am I wearing a coat? We uh, we acquired the wide beam. Oh, so you actually can skip cutscenes. You can skip. Them. Difficult fight. This is not easy. It's Craig. Is the entire game a classic 2D scroller? I think it's like 2.5D, like mostly 2D, yeah. Craig must have some serious heartburn, yeah. Poor Craig. God damn that attack. They give you a lot of warning for it. I think, I, I think I'm getting it. Oh, shit. I think I need to use this moment to uh, charge my missiles and energy here by shooting these. All right, back up. Oh, you can parry that. This guy's tanky, yeah.
I'll try to remember, but... Sam is a badass in this one. Samus is a fucking badass in this one. You gotta give it to Samus in this one. Yeah, just fucking... I'm just gonna... Nice try. <laughs> she is fucking cold as ice. I love it. What do we got? Diffusion beam. Uh, I don't know what that means. Okay, cool. Subscription. That was a cool boss fight. Yeah, I like that boss fight a lot. Both of the boss fights. So there's been the scorpion. The scorpion was cool. C uh, Craig was cool. The individual robot fights, like the ones that are stalking you, I feel like they're more like a stealth section. Causes charge beam shots to explode on impact. 